upload. It is day zero of ASIN, aka Anime Central. It is my first time here in Chicago, at least for anime convention reasons. I'm very excited. Honestly, the entire way getting here was just incredibly frustrating, not fun. Um, I'm still in the middle of setting up. It is 8.21 and technically set up at least on day zero ends at 8 p.m. However, no one has said anything, so I'm going to try to set up as much as possible today um, just so I'm not stressed out tomorrow. Um, but I do want to come in tomorrow pretty early. The event starts at 10, but I will try to be here around 8, so we'll see. I don't know. I also need my 8 hours of sleep, but no promises there. This foldable stool, easily my best investment yet. It was only like $9 at Ross and it fit in my suitcase and because I am short, it allows me to put all this stuff together. This is also how the artist alley looks when it's all closed up. It is now 8.41 and I am mostly set up for the most part. The only thing I need to do is add the banner and then just rearrange the back, but that's not really a problem until tomorrow. So. <sighs> I'm just so tired right now. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, it is 8.02 in the morning and we are here for ASIN. Uh, it is day one. I got here super early just because I need to set up some last minute things. And we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. I heard this event is pretty good. I honestly haven't heard much besides whatever other artists have told me, so. So it is 8.52 in the morning and this is the final setup. It does feel pretty sparse just because I don't have my vinyl stickers. And if you're not familiar with Anime Central, you are not allowed to have vinyl stickers um, just because the convention center doesn't allow it because in past events, a lot of people would put the freebie stickers all over the convention and they don't want to get fined. So they just outright took off or basically didn't allow sales of adhesive items. However, you can sell phone grips, but I don't have my phone grips because I did not have room for them. It does feel pretty sparse, especially up on top because that's usually where I put my Eda bags. And I have considered putting the sign down here, but then it also feels a little cramped. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I don't have the heart Eda bags with me just because I didn't have space again. Also, I did cut down the sign as you remember from before, it was that long, like the typical signs, but I did the same thing as I did with AX Chibi. So I cut it down and then I just cut down the table location and then just attached it this way. So at least it's still there and you can still see where you are in terms of artist alley. So I updated the display a little bit. I didn't have a dust mat here, but I added one there just because of this looked super empty and it was kind of annoying me a little bit but I should be fine now. Okay, the one piece pins. I have a whole bunch that I want. Okay, okay. so start with um, Luffy Zoro Sanji. So nice here. 
because I asked one attendee who was at my booth like, oh, where did you get this? Because I saw everyone with these and I wanted to know like where they got this goodie bag. And he was like, oh, like you can have it. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, that's so nice. Um, so now I have this really cute Pochta Chainsaw Man um, drawstring bag. And then someone also came by, not someone, but my favorite artist came by and gave me coffee. So I kind of just put it in the Starbucks drink. And they gave me a snack and I want to cry and everyone's just so sweet. So it is 5.14 and there's still about an hour and 15 minutes until this con ends. And oh my god, I have to say, I have not done this well probably since Anime Expo, especially on a Friday. I know Anime Expo, like it was so crazy that I could not even like get the actual count. But I think I'm at around like 100 plus sales just today so far and it's only Friday which is really unheard of considering how there's still two more days. I did sell out of a few Eda bags but then again I only brought like one or two just because I didn't have space in my suitcase so literally ASIN is so amazing. It's really hard to get in just because it is lottery I believe but highly recommend it. It's literally just day one and I'm even like some other vendor friends said that they're doing super well. Some of them did sell out. For this con in particular, I did a combination of my usual like when I drive organization as well as this where they're in these organizers. And that's because I just wanted these so I can at least organize them because in the past with Anime Las Vegas, it's a little stressful having everything like everywhere. So I'm just using this to keep things tidy. And then I do have extras because I heard that this con was really good and they're absolutely correct. So in the meantime, I've just been putting these on backing cards. I would use the bubble wrap as a backing thing. And then I put them in there. So technically we're done, but they didn't announce anything. It is 6.33 and literally absolutely amazing. Again, as mentioned, I don't think I've had this many sales in one day since Anime Expo. So this is probably like my second grossing Friday. I haven't counted the numbers, but we'll see. Literally amazing. Just packed up and we will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. It is day two of ASIN and it is 8.12 in the morning. Basically, the con opens at 8 for Artist Alley and Exhibitors, but the actual con starts at 10. I just like getting her early only because it gives me more time to settle down and I usually don't have time to look at other artist booths during the convention, so this is the best time for me to set up and then walk around. I have a few notes on yesterday that I also will be referring to on my phone. So first off, Again, as mentioned, yesterday was probably one of my highest growing Fridays in a really long time, probably around the same as Fanime and Anime Expo. Anime Expo was like obviously astronomical, but this is a very close second or third. For ASIN, it is supposedly one of the largest Midwest and Chicago anime, Japanese pop culture conventions and there's about like 33,000 plus attendees, so that's one thing to consider. What I did that I feel like might have helped a lot was writing the anime convention and my table location on the back of my business cards. So I was using these square business cards and luckily there was blank space in the back for me to write down all of that information. And I tried to do this the first couple days of a con, especially like on the first day. And it also depends on how busy it is because I don't want to write all of that information on the back of my business cards only for me to not actually run out of those specific business cards because then it's deemed useless at the end of that con and then I can't use that for other conventions. But it also helps because there were a lot of people yesterday and some of them were just walking around and just trying to see what they wanted to buy maybe in the next few days because there were a lot of people who had the full weekend pass so most likely they will come back and having that information on the back of your card especially when they're not following you on social media is super helpful. There is a Starbucks directly outside of the entrance of Artist Alley so that's super helpful especially if you need some sort of beverage or food before or during the convention. I will note that they open only at 9 in the morning and the con doesn't start till 10 so at least you have some leeway but I would recommend going at least five minutes to 
directly at 9 because there is a line but it only maybe like there's a 20 minute wait which wasn't too bad they also don't accept app orders so i would keep that in mind in terms of interactions at least for yesterday i feel like there were probably very small lines at least for me there were a couple transactions maybe like two to three and then there would be like a five or ten minute gap and then there's more people coming in so there wasn't really a large gap of time i think it mostly happened like towards the beginning before lunchtime like before 12 p.m so it wasn't too hectic or overwhelming at least for me especially since i'm the only one here and i have to pack orders and then find the products at the same time but I think what also made it less stressful was because I don't have my phone groups and I don't have my vinyl stickers so then I automatically know that they're referring to pins or a magnet if they um, point out a design. Again, it is difficult because this con is pretty good and I just did not have the physical strength and or the suitcase space for me to bring in as much inventory as I possibly could or typically would as if for AX, which is one of my local cons. I know one of the solutions to that is just shipping some of the products ahead of time to the convention or my hotel if they do that. I actually don't know if I could for this convention or just bring another person with me and that's two extra checked in baggage but I did not have that option because most of my friends were busy this weekend so yeah. I will say that there is some space between you and the artist behind you but it's not that much. Here I'll show you. So then this is where your chair would go and then they're right there so it's walkable but not by much especially when there are tripods and it's not too bad they're actually really nice and friendly and they don't mind you going through so i don't really mind um, but that is something to consider and it does seem like you can have tripods for this particular convention because it's not like anyone has said anything so it's fine i would just have to say that i am lucky that i'm in the center area so i can pretty much I shouldn't but I can block this area because most people like if you're here you're gonna go that way or if you're here you can see that I'm blocking it and you can go that way so that's like one of the benefits of having a center position versus a corner spot there's also a decent amount of space between you and the artist in front of you like this is a good this is probably like two three times wider than anime expo and it doesn't seem like it gets super packed maybe after 1 p.m. it does get pretty busy, but there's still enough space that you don't feel like you're being suffocated. Also, if I haven't mentioned, the tables are eight foot long, which is really nice because then you have a lot more surface area to put your display and your products. And I think this is an eight by two table because it seems like, like this is one foot and this is probably one foot. For scale, this is the remaining portion of Artist Alley. There's food over there and then Exhibit Hall is just right across so you can actually enter through here. They're pretty big. Like over there they have studio booths on that side. And then on the other side is more of the vendor hall portion. I'm actually starting to run low on business cards. I think, I don't even know how many I have left, but I'm trying to make it last until tomorrow. So what I'm doing is basically just putting the products in here. Um, they'll only need a business card if I give them a magnet because the pins will have a backing card anyway and my information's on there. So I'm not too worried about that. So I think just lanyard and magnet purchases will get a business card. So the con started about 47 minutes ago. It's 10.47 and there's been eight sales so far, so that's pretty good. Especially since one of them purchased an Eda bag and we're basically used to that with Eda bag. So pretty good. Thank you to the artists who keep feeding me. I am I'm well loved. <laughs>
since I did run out of business cards at one point, I basically just put my extra backing cards in here because I feel like I am at a disadvantage if I don't have something as a marketing tool, so I'm just gonna use the backing cards. Um, I still have a good amount left, but not a lot. Ugh, I'm just trying to make it last. Okay, so I'm eating. <laughs> it's 3.48 and it's literally been so hectic that sometimes it literally feels like anime in that there's usually like one person after another and then maybe I'll get like a couple minutes and then there's someone in front of me already. So I barely have time to actually talk in front of a camera. I already beat the number of transactions from yesterday. I don't really have anything to analyze because I feel like my brain is a little bit fried. I think I went into proper detail on how I organize these pins and I think this is what I'm going to do with flying cons from this point on. And basically I split some of these. So like for one compartment, there's two pin designs. This one is Ace and then Sabo. And it's kind of the same with like most of these. And basically I do have more of these in each compartment. And as time goes on, I will refill these as soon as they go empty, just so they're already ready. But then I also have more in stock and I'm not running out and selling out too quickly. I have to say it is so, so warm right now. Um, I've resorted to using this laminated sign as a fan. I think it was actually cold this morning, but I think it got a lot warmer just because there's so many people inside that it's almost choking me out. Like there were times where I kind of felt a little lightheaded, but luckily I had Gatorade and water. Um, it's kind of reminiscent to Anime Expo, so you can already see like my hair is like frizzing already from the humidity. It is 6.30 and we're finally done! Ah! My stomach really hurts. Like I did not really take care of myself. It's also kind of funny because they do announce things in the intercom, but it's incredibly muffled and not clear at all, so you can't really understand what they're saying and you can just guess that it's closing. <laughs> but there's still a lot of people, so I don't think anyone really understood what they were saying. Also, I have to say, I met one of my absolute favorite artists, like literally favorite, and I'm so glad that they were here at Artist Alley because I literally love them so much. I don't want to bring everything up, but this is like $200 worth of One Piece fan art from Alcon, and I love, 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 love you. Thank you so much. And they were also so, so sweet because they gave me coffee and bread, even bread today, and I almost cried because I love them so much. Um, I felt like so many things. I'll probably do a more thorough haul in a little bit, or maybe tomorrow, but thank you. And I love you. All closed up and ready to go. Good morning, it is the last day of ASIN and it is 8.12 in the morning. I just cleaned up the canopy walls that I was using to cover my booth, folded them up just so they're easy to put away since I'm basically cleaning out on the last day. Again with the numbers, amazing numbers. I think I did a lot better than Fanime. I know Fanime, I didn't have that much stuff last year and I didn't have the Eda bags, but now with the Eda bags and more enamel pins and other products and a keychain especially, I obviously exceeded that and this is probably my second best con after Anime Expo. With the numbers, I wouldn't say it's about the same as Anime Expo. However, I also just didn't have my stickers and two, if I could have, I would have brought more Eda bags, but as mentioned previously, I physically cannot bring that much stuff. So again, I was limited to how much I could bring. But if I had brought those items, I probably would have exceeded like how much I made the past couple days by a lot. And would have been a very, very close second to Anime Expo, in my opinion. If you're interested in applying for ASIN, I believe it is a lottery-only system. So apps for this year came out last year in October slash November. It was a pretty quick app system. I found out that I got in in late March because I remember I was at another anime con in Japan and it's really affordable. I think like this is the price for the table and it came with an eight foot table, two chairs and a badge for yourself. You do have to pay for another badge if you have a helper with you. You do have to have insurance, like event insurance. I already have like this insurance that I pay annually and then it just covers whatever 
event you go to. However, if you don't do many events that do require insurance, you probably don't need to buy an annual membership for that insurance. You can just pay for each event that comes up and that's probably cheaper for you. But overall for this event, my costs weren't exceedingly high compared to some other events that I've been to. So if you are able to attend and bend at this event, like I highly recommend it because it is so worth it. Also don't mind my bangs. I refreshed them last night and they just like stuck out in the worst way possible. <laughs> I have to say while uh, there's no one in front of my booth, it is 11.35 and there's been a good number of sales, especially for Sunday. I mean, I expected it to be pretty good. And usually Sundays are about the same, if not a little bit better than Friday. And basically my pin display is like picked up. So since I have like 20 minutes left before I actually have to start packing up, um, it's only 1.42 and I feel like at the rate at which my transactions are going, it would be about the same as Friday if I didn't have to leave. But again, I have to leave early because I am not going to miss my flight to LA because I still also have to pack and get everything ready for anime in the next few days. It's a whole thing. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I appreciate all of you who came by. I'm just, everyone's treated me with so much kindness and I really appreciate it, especially um, coming here to do it solo and being in another state. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to watch this video if you want to see all of my artist alley vlogs and I'll see you all next time.